Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the 8th in a series of video tutorials on how to create a mobile game in Unity 5. So this episode we're going to be working on a bit more on colliders, we're going to be bringing in some more textures, some music, and we're also going to be creating our death screen, i.e. when we crash into the planet or any, any other objects we make in the game, we die and have to start again. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare ourselves for the future tutorials and we're going to add this scene to the actual build of the game. So to do that you need to go to file and build settings just there and in there you'll have scenes to build. Now if you remember we've seen this scene before I think in the very first episode where we switched our platform from PC, Mac, uh, Linux standalone to Android in this case. So all you need to do is make sure you don't have any other scenes open. You're on the main scene. You just need to click on add open scenes. You'll notice this puts it up there and puts zero there. So when we add further scenes in our game, for example, a title screen, that has the number one, number two for the one after, number three, and so on. You can click the little X on top of that now. So the reason we've done that is because the way this is going to work, when we crash, we're going to be presented with a screen that says, you died in this tutorial. By the end of it, we'll have that. The next tutorial, we're going to be working on some buttons where we can click to go back to the main menu, or we can click to retry. Clicking that retry button will take us to another scene, which will immediately reload this scene, and we'll be able to play all over again. So for now, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves and let's let's texture this planet right here. So in the textures folder, I'm going to bring in this sand text, which you can get off our website for free. Head on over there, head to the downloads and assets section and click on the Android and iOS tutorial and you can download it there. So you've probably gathered by now the simplicity of how Unity works. You can just drag and drop that straight onto the object and it creates a nice kind of planet look. Let's take that one step further and let's use something called normal map. Now, normal map is a way of really highlighting bumps and grooves in a texture. You mainly use, uh, well, realistically, it's the lighting which creates it. So if you've got decent lighting within your game, it makes it look even nicer. So to do that, if you click on your sand text, hold control, press D, duplicate, it will create an exact copy of it, and in this case, it will call it Santex 1. So make sure that one is selected. Go to Texture Type over here in your Inspector pane. Click on Texture, and then click on Normal Map. For now, let's not worry too much about any of these settings. We don't want to get too far into them at this point. We're not going to advance. We just want to make it look a bit better. Click on Apply. It'll take just a second, and this will turn sort of pink, grey, blue colour. That means it's worked just fine. So click on your planet and then down here, click on the arrow at the texture and you'll see here normal map. Like we did with the albedo there, you can drag and drop this normal map texture straight here. And hopefully you'll be able to see the planet now looks a bit different. It looks a bit more, not realistic, but a bit shinier and a bit more entertaining. I'm going to change the colour of this planet a little bit as well. So I am going to select it and I'm going to change it to a kind of a blue colour, I think. I think a nice blue colour will do. And let's increase the metallic look. In fact, no, let's increase the smoothness to 0 0.7. Okay, that looks okay. I'm happy with that. So the next thing we need to do is let's create another obstacle that we can fly past rather than just have planets all the time. So let's go to game object, read the object and let's have a cube. Let's have some debris in space. So let's move this into position. So it needs to be on the same uh, Z or Z axis as the planet, in which case it is minus 4.3. So let's put our cube as minus 4.3. And let's expand it a bit. Let's have three by three by three. Let's turn the camera or the scene back around. And I'm going to move it to about 
there. I'm bring in this caution texture once again into Unity, and I'm going to do the exact same as what I did with the planet. I'm going to bring the texture onto it, create a normal map, and then apply the normal map to the object. So that's on there. Control D, so it'll create caution one. And when it's done that, remember, make sure it is selected. Head to texture type, normal map, and apply. Feel free to change the bumpiness. That's the only real one that you should be worried about at this point in time. There's no real danger of destroying anything by playing with these settings, but it's up to you if you want to play with them. So let's click on that. And let's click there and drag and drop our normal map onto it like so. I'm going to increase the metallic to zero, let's do 0 0.5. Okay, there we go. And that looks fairly decent. I'm going to save our scene right there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import our game audio. So much in the same way we did with our star audio, rather than just play at a certain point, we want it to continuously play. So I'm going to drag and drop this mainmusic.mp3 straight in here. And once again, it is available on the website. In I think it's, all, it's going to all be in one package. So if you head over to the Downloads NAS section, you'll be able to download the entire package for this whole episode and it'll contain all the textures and the music. So when it's imported, it will take just a little bit longer. I think it's about three minutes long. All we need, really need to do is on our main camera, make sure you are on main camera there, because if you put it on any other object, it won't work. Audio objects, right click, create empty. Let's call this main theme. Drag and drop this music onto main theme. And let's press play. Turn the volume down just a little. There we go. Okay, so it is starting to come together. So let's create the script which will enable us a death screen when we crash into our planet or our debris in space. First things first. We need to deal with our canvas. At the moment, we only have the score on there. So we need to go to game object. Let's go to UI and let's go to raw image. I'm going to double click raw image so it zooms out so we can see a bit better. And what I'm going to do, right click, uh, rename. Let's call this death black. I'm going to change the color to black. And I'm going to change the anchor point to stretch. So make sure you do do stretch before you change these values here. So that's zero, zero, and then zero. So as it covers the entirety of this rectangle here, because this white rectangle represents your screen. If we press play now, all we would see is just that black screen. Next thing we need to do is we need to create some text which says you died on that screen. Once again, we'll do it in the same way we did the score. Game object, UI, text. Now you can use various different fonts for this. It doesn't matter too much what you do. Um, we may deal with fonts later on. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna put this as you died with two exclamation marks. Pretty simple. Uh, font. Arial, font style, I have bold, font size, I'm going to have as 30. Um, in fact, because I've got it 30, we need to increase the size of this. So I'm just going to click this little tool here and expand to about there. Uh, I'm going to center it and I'm going to change the color to bright red. I think that looks okay. So the next thing you need to do is I want to align this a little better. So I'm going to put that about there. Yeah, about there is fine. So the reason I put it there is because eventually we'll get around to putting some buttons here so we can press on um, retry or go to main menu, whatever. So if we press play now, we'll be able to see this, uh, this screen is what you'll see when we crash. So right click. Rename, let's call this 
Oops. Def. Text. And those two objects, if you hold control and select them both like that, untick so they both disappear, so they're not visible on screen. So let's zoom in on our planet. We'll start with that. Let's create a script which causes our death. So right click, create script. Simply let's call this death script and open it up in Mono Develop or Visual Studio. As I always say, it makes absolutely no difference because the code is going to be exactly the same. So this script is going to be four variables, I think, and we're going to be using a function uh, on trigger enter, which we did for the star, if I remember. Yes, we use that. So we'll be using another on trigger enter. So let's delete everything it gives us and let's start with the two objects we just created. So var uh, death black and let's call that a game object next let's have var death text that's also going to be a game object and the next two variables that we need uh, one is going to be um, in fact no we didn't need one now don't we we just need the rocket itself so we need to also disable the rocket when we have crashed, just so as we can't kind of carry on playing behind this black screen that we've created. So let's just call it var the oops, rocket and game object. So as I say, we're going to be using function on trigger enter. Remember, that's a capital O, capital T, and a capital E there. And I'm sure I've explained it before, the way I keep things uniform and use the same kind of process each time in all tutorials. It just makes that, kind, that way of coding easy for you to remember rather than deviate from the norm, as it were. So col, and then colon, and um, collider, I think capital C. Should turn blue, yep, that's fine. Open curly bracket. So once uh, we enter this trigger, in this case, what we need to do is we need to put on our black screen. So death black dot set active true. We also need to do the same with our text. Death text dot set active true. And the final thing is we need to disable the rocket. Simple. The rocket dot set active false. And that is the end of the function. Just them three little lines of code. So save that. Head back into Unity. And give it just a second to think down there. Make sure we get no errors. I don't think we do. Let's just clear the console just in case. That's fine. So you need to drag and drop death script onto our planet. So now we need to define our three variables. So death black onto death black, death text onto death text, and finally the rocket on the rocket. I'm going to save. Oh, one last thing. Make sure you, make sure you tick is trigger on your planet. Let's resave that. Let's press play and let's crash into our planet. And there we go, you died. That's all there really is to it. The same principle applies to the debris. You can put it on the debris there, on the cube. I'm gonna right click and rename that actually. Debris 001. Same principle as I say, death text goes on to death text. Death black goes on to death black, and the rocket onto the rocket. It is a rocket science, excuse the pun. And the same thing will occur once again. Well, it should do if you tick is trigger. Let's try that again, shall we? And we crash. You died. 
So next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking more into uh, different scenes because we're going to create a main menu. We're going to create a recycling scene, which basically we load and then reload this main scene, as I explained earlier in this episode. Um, we may also put a sound, which kind of makes a crashing noise as we crash into various things and comes up, you died. We'll also be dealing with GUI buttons too. So until next episode, you put as many plants in, as much debris as you want. You don't have to use this audio that I'm using. It's just from our Keep Flying game. So it is entirely up to you if you want to use that or not. So until next episode, thanks very much for watching.